Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, The Daily Trader. It is July 6th, and we are going to take a look at Palantir stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So Palantir uh, down a little bit. So down 27 cents, 2.68%, closed at 980 post-market, we are down by two cents. So basically what's happening is that we are caving under this uh, downward resistance right here. We tried to poke it, we broke it during the day, but we closed inside. So when we close inside the resistance, it's considered that we have not broken it, even if during the day, briefly, we broke it. So basically we have not broken it. We should be coming down a little bit and pulling back because the sellers are now gaining. The buyers don't want to continue buying. The sellers want to sell. Basically, this is coming down. This is coming down a little bit. Let's go see the one hour chart to understand how this happened. So we had a nice candle. The first candle was nice here. It's green. We went super high, then came back down and came back higher than where we started during the day. So when we have a green candle, the lower part of the green candle is the opening and the upper part of the green candle is the close. So we closed higher. We closed higher than where we started during the first hour. So this was good. But then the second hour, the second hour, we started right here, just sideways from the close of the previous candle. Then we tried to break it again, but then we were squished down a little bit harder and we came back down here. We found some support at 982. So we stayed close to 982, 982. And then now we are starting to go down a little bit and starting to lose. Starting, it's not done yet, but starting to lose stochastic a little bit. So if we lose stochastic on the first hour tomorrow, then we might be coming down a little bit lower. And hopefully the buyers will push this back up again. So this is what we need to take a look at. Going back on the daily chart. So daily chart is still quite healthy. Uh, we have stochastic at 81. So uh, this is a very good stochastic. So uh, this could be just a little bit of a pullback during one day. And then we could be resuming again the move up. So all is not lost. We have a really good stochastic on the daily chart here. We have the two lines of MACD above zero. We have RSI above 50. And we have DMI that's positive too. So the stock is strong in itself. It just needs to break this downward resistance in order to free itself a little bit. Let's hope that this is going to happen tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. You can click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.